In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your own free TLS cert for your web server in as little as 5 minutes. Hello friends and family, my name is Jimmy and today I wanted to talk to you about a service called Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt is a nonprofit certificate authority that also helps you get free and secure certs for your web server. Now I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to use by generating certs and installing it on my own website. So right now, if I go to jimmysambu.com, I'm going to get an error message saying that the site is not secure. And the reason is because my certificate is currently expired. And the way to fix this is I'm going to generate a new cert and install it into my website so that it can be trusted again. Now, in order to do this and use Let's Encrypt, I'm going to have to install a binary uh, called CertBot. Uh, that's a terminal tool, and once that's installed, I can type in certbot help, and it will show me a couple of different options that that I can do to run it. Uh, specifically, it's going to help me do things like generating the cert, revoking the cert, managing certs on my computer, as well as installing the cert on my web server. And the options that it has for installing it includes Apache, Nginx, but in, right now, I just want to generate the cert locally on my computer and then upload it to my web server. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the options cert only so that I can renew the cert but not install it. And I'm also going to specify the manual option so that I can go through it step by step and show you what's going on. So let's run that now by saying cert bot cert only manual. So first it's going to ask me for the domain names. My domain name is jimmysambu.com. And just like that, I have a new cert. Now for you, you might get a challenge by Let's, by Let's Encrypt. And it might look something like this, where it will ask you if you are okay with your IP being logged and asking you to create a file on your web server putting in a certain directory with this specific content. And the reason is because it wants to prove that you have access to this domain. Uh, now, I've already done this, so it didn't ask me for it, for it again. But if you had to do that, you can connect to your web server however you need to, um, whether it's locally or via FTP. That's the way I was doing it. Um, connecting to the website to the web server and then uploading the file in that specific directory. When you hit enter, it will verify. It will hit that specific URL and make sure that that content is there. And after that, it will generate the cert just like it did right now. And one thing we can do to verify that it's there and, and more information about it is by typing in certbot certificates. And it can show you that I have one certificate right now that it will expire in about 90 days. And it will show me the path to the certificate as well as the private path, private key. Now, at this point, the cert's there. Pretty simple and easy. And we just have to get it onto the web server. Now, in your case, uh, you, can, you might be using Apache or IIS or any web server. Um, for me, I'm using something called Easy WordPress, uh, which manages a lot of the stuff for me, but there is a way for me to upload the certs into there, which I'm going to do now. So I can click here, and there's a place where I can manage the certs. And I'll just hit Change. And there, the main things I need to do is upload the private key and the SSL cert. Now, this is a bit strange because they want me to put it in TXT and key format, but we have .pem files. So what I'm going to do is just open it up and copy the text. And I will do that by saying Adam, which is my text editor of choice. Copy this. So first I will copy the certificate and paste it in here. 
and I'll also do the same thing for the private key by saying Adam, open up the private key, and pasting it here. And it will show me a check mark saying that it validates. And all I have to do is click change. And just like that, the cert, the cert has been uploaded, uploaded onto my website. And I can go back, and it might take a little bit to refresh the cert. Okay, and that took about a minute before it refreshed, and now I'm able to see the website. Now, it still says not secure because I have some elements on the website that are not HTTPS. But if I click here and check the certificate, we can see that it is valid, that it was created by Let's Encrypt, and the new expiration date is July 23rd. So just like that, I now have a new HTTPS cert, cert on my website. So if you don't already know, it's really important to make sure that your website is secured via HTTPS so that any personal information from your visitors will be encrypted between your web server and their computer. And just nowadays, it's so simple and easy to get your own cert that there's not really a reason not to. So yeah, that was generating a HTTPS cert within five minutes or less. Um, try it out. Go to letsencrypt.org to learn more about this and just take advantage of it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and let me know how it goes. And I'll see you in my next video.